Welcome back guys to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Google Slides on your phone. So uh, you can choose a template or start with a new presentation, but I'll use a template for this video. And you can choose any type of templates uh, you want to use depending on the purpose of your presentation. For this video, I'll use this uh, recipe book template. Alright, so to edit your presentation, just click on any of the slides and then click edit slide. And then let's focus first on the text. So let's click a text here. Uh, you will see at the bottom different buttons for text. So, for example, this one, you can bold and unbold the text. You can also change the text color. So, there are theme colors here, which is based on the color palette of the theme that you chose for this presentation. You can also use basic colors. So, in here, uh, you can choose different shades. But let's stick with the theme color. And then aside from that, you can also use highlight. So if you want to highlight the text, just click any color that you want to use to highlight the text. Uh, there are different colors here from the basic. But you can also stick with the theme colors so that... Uh, the color will blend well to the template that you chose. And if you don't want a highlight color, you can click none. And then you can also left align, center align, or simply center the text. You can also use right align and justify. Then here, another icon here, uh, there's a bullet. You can use that, especially when you're listing texts. And then you can also fill the color of your text box. So just choose any color uh, here from the theme colors. Uh, you can choose any color from here. And it will serve like a background color for your text. So... You can also, of course, choose basic colors, but let's stick with the theme colors. Now, if you want to remove that, just click transparent. So for more uh, text uh, editing, uh, there is an icon here at the top, this letter A with some lines so you can just click that and you will find other uh, text options like for example italicize underline strike through uh, you, if you need a superscript or a subscript you can also find it here and then of course you can change the font of the text so Let's try this, Meriwether. And then you can uh, change the size of the font or of the text. And then others here, text color, highlighting color. Uh, these are the ones we've already used a while ago. And then for the paragraph, we have here again uh, the different paragraph settings that we used a while ago. Now, if you want to put the text on top of the text box, center, or at the bottom of the text box, you can use these uh, tools. And then here, uh, if you want to change the indent, you can just click it to adjust the indent. <coughs> And then here, you can use numbering if you're listing. So there are different kinds of options here for numbering. And then you can also use bullets, which have different options as well. 
especially if you have a lot of things to list on your presentation these are useful tools and then for the shape uh, or the text box here you have the border color uh, it is simply just a border you can change the color for example as you can see and then uh, what you can also do is change the border weight so if you want thicker border you can make it higher and see it's uh, thicker than it was a while ago and then you can also change the type of border so there are border dashes here but i think let's stick with this one and then here um, you can see more uh, options like for example um, we have your drop shadow and reflection so let's try that So for drop shadow, uh, you can check this or turn this on. So you will notice a shadow. Of course, if you increase the transparency, it will become less visible. And then when you decrease the transparency, it will become more visible. So the change is not that uh, visible in this video because uh, we are using phone, but if you turn this off and turn it on you will see the difference right you see that okay so you can change the color of that you know be uh, using basic colors or theme colors again I'm just playing around the transparency just so you can see the difference when it has a drop shadow and when it doesn't have one okay so here it is so i hope you can see it better now and then aside from the drop shadow of course we have the reflection i'll turn this off first okay so you see the difference okay again so you can also use the reflection this is easier to see okay when you turn it on and off and then you can adjust the transparency of the reflection of course but I'll turn this off for this video and then we have your out of fit text so you can play around these uh, tools now uh, if we want to add more uh, slides uh, you can just click this uh, slide with a plus sign and then you can add a slide and choose a template for that slide so for example this one i have here i'll just and then you can uh, change the text of course so uh, here's an example So, for example, let's use the numbered list. And then, aside from the text box from the templates of course you can also add more text and elements so here i'll just click insert and then 
add text if I need to add more text box for my slide presentation so for example what I'm doing here Then you can put it in the proper placing in your slide. Then another thing you can add, of course, is image. So you can choose from photos or take a picture from your camera. But for this video, let's choose photos. And then when adding photos, you can also uh, resize and manipulate the photo so that it fits perfectly to your presentation. Here you can see I'm using the undo and redo button. So you can also use that. Of course you can um you can zoom in if you're having a hard time manipulating the elements in your slides now let's add some shapes there are a lot of choices here from call outs arrows full charts and basic shapes i'll just choose this circle one and you can of course change the color of this shape and then it's border color Here I'm choosing this color and then you can also change the weight or the thickness of the border and the style of the border for example. Let's see how this one works. Okay. And then you can also apply reflection to it like this one. But let's turn that off. We also have drop shadow as you can see. I hope you can see the difference when you turn on and off then you can resize that of course and i just place it here okay so another thing you can add is a line Okay, so when adding a line, uh, the same as shapes, you can change the colors, the line weight or the thickness, as well as the style of the line. So you see, from a simple straight line became a broken line. And then another thing we can add is table. Uh, you can increase or decrease the rows and columns depending on what uh, you will use. And then you can just uh, edit this by changing the color of the border. You can also increase the thickness as well as the style. And then in this three dot button, you have other options like change theme. So if, if suddenly you want to change the theme of your uh, PowerPoint or presentation, you can just choose any type of theme here. So as you can see, uh, all these slides followed the new template or theme. And then you can rearrange the slides by gliding it over the other slides and placing it on the proper uh, placing. And then on the three dot button, you can also share and export, of course, your 
slides and then click share and then if you want to share it to a specific person you can of course just type in here their email so that they get notified as well and then you have an option to make them viewer commentor or editor and then just click send and they've been added already uh, another way that you can share and export this is by copying the link and then sending it to the person you want to have an access to this PowerPoint and then you can also send a copy uh, you can choose from these formats usually they use pptx or pdf for presentation so but let's try this one first we used p pptx or powerpoint format so you can send this via the available apps that you have and then you can also save this as a specific format that you prefer so here let's try this one and there you go uh, as you can see from uh, here we already turned this into a PowerPoint presentation format. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you use Google Slides on your phone. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.